and now I got AC2, but Inglorious Bastards, <laughs> which I was very disappointed when I heard that you're not going to be in the movie now. Yeah, it's a shame it didn't work out, and, and, and you know, Quentin and I tried to make it work, and there was a... Uh, uh, it was entirely a scheduling thing. This Damn. is an amazing script, and it's going to require his. So you read it? Uh, yeah, it's fabulous. But and it, it's going to require his actors to be there and in it, you know, in order to make it really work. And 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 I completely understand that. Unfortunately, I couldn't do it. But Michael Fassbender, who is a far better choice, is now doing it, and and he's a brilliant actor. So compared to Tarantino's other works, where do you think *Inglorious Bastards* going to fit? It's going to be brilliant. I mean, it, it's beautiful. He, you know, he's such a dynamic writer, and, and he has so much, such an incredible force of ideas. I think it's going to be insanely good. And he's making some really, you know, obviously there's a lot of speculation about the cast because he's made some uh, surprising choices, right. which he always does. By Mike the way, Mike Myers, I just yeah, but it's then he, that. yeah, but the, but he, he tends to be always right as well, you know. Mm -hmm. When he gets a feeling about someone, it's for a reason. So. Well, I'm really upset that you're not going to be in Let's it. not talk about films that I'm not in. <laughs> <All right. laughs>